I'm making this video to clarify the relationship between Ka and Kb and just to make sure you understand um, what they are. And this concept goes, it basically takes acids and bases and equilibrium and kind of puts those two concepts together. So first thing is we need to understand what Kw is. So Kw is the equilibrium constant for the dissociation of water. So water is always in equilibrium. Two waters can collide and have an exchange of protons where one goes to one water to make it an H3O plus and the other one goes to or the other one lost a proton so it makes it an OH minus. Um, so this is and then those two species can again collide and make two waters back again by an exchange of protons. So this is an equilibrium process and as such there's always a certain amount of water that's in this H3O plus OH minus state and at room temperature, these two concentrations always multiply by 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So that is the equilibrium constant for um, water's dissociation. So that kind of controls what the relationship between HGO plus and OH minus is in, a wa in water and any solutions in water. So Ka then is the equilibrium constant for the reaction of an acid dissociating in water. And it's really important because when we want to know the pH of a weak acid in water, what we're usually given is what the concentration of the acid species is. So like let's say HA is one molar. But because this acid dissociation is not um, just one way, it's an equilibrium process, this H3O plus concentration is not um, one molar as well. So it's somewhat less than one molar. And these two are related by the equilibrium constant Ka. And so we can see that Ka um, is equal to the concentration of HGO plus over A minus divided by HA. So it's just products over reactants. The reason why water is not there is the concentration of water is basically a constant. It's always about 55 molar. And so the concentration of water is built into the equilibrium expression itself um, as it's not going to change. Um, for Kb then, Kb is similar but now for a base and so it's showing you know bases react with water to make um, the conjugate acid of the base and OH minus. So when we're trying to find the pH of a, of a weak base, we don't, we'll be given the concentration of the base but what we need to do is find the concentration of OH minus and those two things are related by the equilibrium constant because again this is not a forward only process, it's forward and backwards. And for a weak base, it's actually mostly backwards. Um, and so here's the equilibrium expression for a base. So it, again, um, whoops, I forgot the H plus in here. So it's supposed to say BH plus there, um, just like it does in the reaction. So I just made a little mistake. Okay. Um, and then, okay, so that's what the cons what equilibrium is for a base. Now, how are these two things related to each other? So again, I give you, here's the two expressions. Same mistake because I copied and pasted. It should say BH plus. But whenever you're looking at a conjugate acid and base problem, and on that worksheet that you guys are doing in class, it asks you to find the, the pH of NH4+, and it doesn't give you a Ka for that acid. However, NH4+, is the conjugate acid of NH3. So you already know the Kb for NH3. You need to know Ka for NH4. So you need to know how these two things are related. Okay. Well, it turns out that if they're conjugate acid-base pairs, saying A- minus and saying B are the same thing, and saying BH plus and HA are really the same thing. So in the case of that NH3, NH3 is your base, NH4 plus is the BH plus. Okay. It's just, you know, one has one more hydrogen. Or NH4 plus is your HA, and NH3 is your A- minus. Okay. Um, so I just rewrote Kb to show that that BH plus is the same thing as HA and the B is the same thing as the A minus. Okay, and that's again for the conjugate acid base pairs. So now that we know that um, those two things, yeah, I can write it like this, if I now multiply Ka times Kb, since HA is on the top and the bottom, it will cancel. And A minus is on the top and the bottom, it will cancel. And I'll be left just seeing that Ka equal, times Kb equals HGO plus times OH minus 
But if you remember back, that's exactly what KW is. Okay, so now that we know that that's what KW is, now, um, whoops, it ran off the edge here. Sorry about that. Um, they're supposed to be, it's supposed to say 14 right next to this, but KA times KB equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So in the problem that you guys are struggling with, KB is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, and KA is unknown. Well, if we just take 1 times 10 to the negative 14th and divide by um, KA, then that, or, and divide by K, let me just write it out for you. Sorry, I'm getting, um, hold on a minute. I need something to write with. All right, so here's something to write with. So again, in your problem, um, something decent. Okay, so you know that that's too thick. That'll work. Okay, so you know that Ka is, or, sorry, is what you don't know. You know Kb is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, so, but now we know that Ka times Kb equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Okay, so Ka for that NH4 must equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8. That is a point there, times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, and again, that just comes from the fact that they're that NH3. Okay, so I'm just going to erase real quick. So let me get rid of all that stuff. So if you just look at if I have, let's go back to my brush. Um, NH4 plus and I react that with water, I'm going to make NH3, NH3O+. Plus. So these two things here are conjugate acid-base pairs. So this is the acid and this is the conjugate base. Okay, um, And that's why, since those two are pairs, that's why the Ka's and Kb's are related like what I showed you. So hopefully um, that helps you out. Where'd my cursor go here? Let me 